Well, first off, this is one of the hardest places to shoot video from is in the laser room up here in the loft because it's just, it's so cramped. It's not set up for uh, studio quality lighting and so on. Any, at any rate, we're going to be talking about here is using the uh, We Create Vision Laser, the 20 watt model in my case, to make these uh, engraved ceramic tiles like this, ceramic tile coasters. And just exactly how easy it is. I've done videos before on uh, doing them on conventional um, open frame lasers, uh, class 4 lasers, and well, how do you do that on a We Create? You know, is it hard? Well, it's not. It's actually even easier to do it on the We Create than it is on one of these other lasers because of the camera that's built into this. And I'll take you in detail and show you exactly how easy that is. First, I want to take you on the computer here, uh, show you the uh, image I was sent. I'm doing these for someone. Uh, they sent me a PNG image. I needed to convert that to SVG. I'll show you how to do that and import it into uh, the We Create software. And I'll also show you how to use it and uh, import it and bring it into Lightburn if you're using a conventional laser. So, on to the computer. So, how do we manipulate this image? Well, I've got Inkscape open here. This is one way to do it. I'll show you where to do it in Lightburn here too if you're not using a We Create laser, using something else. We'll start out here, and the same thing will apply. You can do this uh, and import in the light burn too, but the set it can also be done in light burn. So we're going to open this file here, and it is a PNG file. So it's going to look like this, and I need to do some things to it. One well, of the first things I need to do here, I'm going to change my dimensions here to inches just to make this easy for me. Lock that little padlock there. Select everything here. I want to resize this to 4.125. It's 4 and an eighth because it's going to go on a uh, 4 inch ceramic tile, which are actually 4 and a quarter. But the edge is round, so I don't want to use it that way. Now, the next thing I want to do is uh, I'm going to save this as a SVG here, right off here first. I'm going to save that. We'll call it no run. I've already done some uh, manipulating with this, so I'm just going back over here for you. Now I want to trace this. Uh, this has now been saved in SVG and I want to trace this bitmap that's here. So I go over here to the pane, trace bitmap, apply that. Now I can take my bitmap or my tracing and just slide it off to the right. And this here I can delete. I can bring this back in here and there is my graphic that I'm going to be using. Now to do this in Lightburn, here Lightburn, and I will take this out of there. So we're going to bring in that image, same thing again, Miller, PNG. I am going to resize it first, wouldn't have to, but I can. Also do it afterwards. Whoops. 4.125. Make sure your padlock's locked so everything stays where you want it to be. Right click. Trace image. Looks good. And I had that set to delete the original image uh, upon tracing. You, uh, So here, this is all set to uh, fill. I'm going to be using an offset fill on this. Uh, if that's not necessarily the settings I'm going to use, but uh, to give you an example between a fill and an offset fill, and you have a long, a lot of these long vertical lines. So at offset fill, it will take. Let's generate the offset fill time. It will take 24 minutes and four seconds. Now, if we were to change this to fill, because then the laser head is going to have to move more. 
it will take one hour and 44 minutes. So sometimes offset fill can be your friend. What this means is an offset fill, it's only moving between the uh, places it needs to go. It's not scanning the entire tile like a fill would. So it takes much less time. Okay, so what am I using for materials here? These are uh, white tiles you buy at uh, your home store. Menards, Lowe's, Homely Depot, any of those kind of places. Uh, there's different brands, so not every one of them are going to be identical. Uh, this one's kind of spoiled. I've got it on there crooked, but that's on me. Uh, you need to put two light coats of a high titanium dioxide paint on them and let that dry overnight. In my case, I use Rust-Oleum matte white, two coats, one this way, let it flash, one this way, let it dry overnight. Uh, that's one way to do it. Another way you can do it is to actually buy powder titanium dioxide, mix it with alcohol, and then spray it on. Uh, but note that when you do that, if you happen to touch it, that titanium dioxide will come right off. So this is, beginner-wise, this is a good way to go. You use the paint, when you're done, you uh, strip it off with acetone comes right off and you end up with a nice black finish like that. And then we'll put a cork back on here. I haven't got to those yet, but uh, something else to remember after you do clean them in acetone or whatever you're using to strip the paint off, don't try to put your cork back on it right away. Let them sit around for a few hours to off gas because the uh, porous part of the back of the tile does absorb some of that solvent and it will uh, Melt your glue, so to speak. That's all we're using for tiles here. Just these simple wall tiles are, I don't know, 15 cents a piece or something like that at uh, your home store. Two coats of paint, let it dry overnight. You can use this method. I know another question I'm going to get is, okay, well, I don't have a WeCreate Vision Laser, either a 20 watt or a 40 watt. So uh, how do I know what settings to use according to uh, what wattage laser I have? Um, they're all different. You need to run a test pattern like this. This happens to be from the longer B1, but this is uh, something I do on every one of my lasers. We do quite a few of these tiles. And then you would go through and you would pick your best speed and power for giving you the darkest engraved. And uh, I just recently did a video on it and I'll put a link in the description uh, for that video if you'd like to go view it. Okay, once you have your uh, image processed, and I've got it import, I've just got it hanging out over here because I've already made one of these. Uh, and you probably won't have a grid in the bottom of your laser, but I made one. And I, there, I'll put a link in the description on the video on how to do this. It's really nice we need to lay something out and have it straight. So that's important here. So uh, I've got another tile in there, so we'll hit refresh. Uh, see, it's in a slightly different position now than the last one was. And it's just a matter of bringing your image in and setting it on there exactly like you want it. Making sure it's straight. And I do want this to uh, go to the edge of the tile. So that that is by design. I could move this over, but then I'd have a white streak there. I'd want this to look like it's uh, passing off to the side. So once you have this done, you need to go up here and click on your autofocus. It'll do its thing and then it'll do a refresh again. This is, uh, this is one of the easiest lasers there is to use if you're a beginner and you don't know much about them. And I'm going to show you how I obtain the settings here. This is really easy too. Uh, you have material you can choose from here and they, this brings up a whole different list of things. Well, these are uh, paint coated ceramic wall tiles. However, you pick glazed floor tile, like so, and click on confirm. It'll bring that in. If you click on your path here, then it'll show you your settings. So we're using a 100% power and 50 millimeters per second. And it, like I say, it comes out just fine. Uh, no other messing around you need to do. So then it's just a matter of hitting start. And it'll tell you it's going to take 26 minutes and 34 seconds. You could frame that if you wanted to. If you're not absolutely sure about your position. But with the camera in this, it's so accurate that it's not really necessary. Okay, then just click send. And you have to push the button on the front. 
which I just did, so I'm off to making my second one here. And this will keep you updated on the uh, progress. And if for some reason you need to pause this, you can. If you do click on pause, uh, a button will come up to say resume. Don't move anything or it's, you're going to screw your project up. I have never needed to pause one for anything, but that is there if you need it. That's how to make these tile coasters in uh, the We Create software using the We Create Vision Laser. Again, this uh, model is a 20 watt. They also have a 40 watt. I, I just happen to have the 20. And either one works just fine. And the preset settings in there for uh, glazed floor tile work perfect on these painted tiles. So you don't need to mess around. It's just it just works perfect. And uh, aligning your uh, project down there. Of course, you want to make sure you get your tile straight. Um, I had one little boo-boo there. That's when I flipped in and put my uh, grid in the bottom so I could line these up square. So don't make that mistake. So if you got anything out of this, appreciate getting a thumbs up. Always helps the channel. I'll put a link in the description to the uh, other videos I mentioned, along with uh, a link to get the rust -Oleum matte spray paint on Amazon, but you can probably find it at your home store as well. You can definitely find these at your home store. Uh, the cork backing, I'll uh, put a link in that. We, we buy those in 100 packs. We do quite a few of these. And of course acetone, you can get that at your local home store as well. And there'll be a link in there for one of these lasers because I'm sure we create would just love to send you one of those. Uh, again, I'm, this isn't a sponsored video either. I just happen to be using this laser uh, by request from some viewers. That, well, how do I do that on the we create? It's different than you know, like the X Tool S1 that's behind me, or the Atom Stack, or the Ortur, or the Mech Power, or any of these other ones that are sitting over here on the rack. So everything's a little bit different, but this is how to do it on the We Create. Thanks for watching. I'm Roger in the loft above the shop. See you on the next one.